Well, as I sit here, rather romantically, I suppose, amongst the farm machinery here at Eakin, I've been thinking back on the last sort of 15 or so months of this channel. It might be a bit longer, such is my memory. And I think in that time, I've quite delivered the goods in terms of entertainment and of species. There's some really good species being shown on this channel and hopefully many more years of many more species still to come. Amongst the more spectacular of the species featured are some of the hawk moths. You've been treated to a veritable delight and array of some of our rarest migrant hawk moths. And here's another one. This magnificent convolvulus hawk moth is yet another one of those lifetime waits for me. At least it's ending a lifetime's wait. I've said that numerous times actually, and this is yet another in a li long line of moths that I've showed you on this channel. Moths that, if you live in a landlocked inland county, such as Nottinghamshire, you're hardly ever likely to see in the wild state. That includes moths such as Death's Head Hawk Moth, Striped Hawk Moth, Silver Striped Hawk Moth, and now Convolvulus Hawk Moth, which probably offers you the best chance of seeing any of the species I've just mentioned. However, in a few months' time, there may well be the prospect of an even more glamorous moth turning up on your TV screens on this channel. In the meantime, this is the first of the convolvulus hawk moths that I've had emerge. I bought them as eggs and the eggs were obtained from a wild caught female during the summer. It was caught down south. All the eggs hatched, I think, bar about two. And the rate of growth on the caterpillars has been tremendous been very easy to keep. They are quite mucky in terms of hawk moth larva. The frass always seems to be quite moist, unlike some where the frass is really dry, but these are well worth rearing if you get the chance. And this one's becoming a bit active. It's been on this piece of wood for hours. But what a remarkable moth it is typical of any migrant hawk moths, heavily bodied, large powerful thorax, the head is equally as large, not quite as large as death said hawk moth, and it's a beautifully grey moth with various brownish, greyish to almost black streaks. And now that it's partially opened its wings, you can see the thorax and those pink areas on the thorax, that's the first time I've seen them today. This is probably not the largest of specimens that I'm going to get over the next few days, but it's impressive enough. I just love hawk moths, and especially species like convolvulus hawk moth, which I've never seen and have waited a lifetime to do so. The super, super things. This is a most magnificent moth. If we look at it slightly closer, you can see how intrinsic those markings are on the wings. It's almost a hint of a jagged, paler line going across the forewings there. But then on the thorax, you've got, to, as do so many of these, larger migrant hawk moths, almost a, a face-like pattern. Incredible things. 
is a strong, powerful flyer, and they do reach the UK usually in fair numbers each year, but most of the records are involve south coastal sites and southern counties of the UK, but the moth is regularly found up many coastal counties right up into as far as Shetland and the Northern Isles. It's certainly not unknown up there. Of course, it makes it to most parts of Ireland as well. But coastal sites are traditionally the more favoured locations, but 2022 saw a really good influx of these. So good, they even reached Nottinghamshire, and there's been a number of sightings of the adult moth. And then a few weeks ago, following a photographic record of a full grown larva at Balkett, just outside of Nottingham, I went down, and you may well have seen the video, and was amazingly lucky to find a larva still just a few days from pupation, but still feeding on bindweed not far from the River Trent at Balkett. That's probably going to be my highlight of this year, I think, in terms of moth records. To finally record this species in the wild state in Nottinghamshire has been a lifelong dream. And to have one of these come to light of its own accord is still a dream of mine. Personally, I would like it to be at Ekrin, which is where I'm filming this one. But... This won't be released. Beautiful things. If you ever get the chance to say, really, they are, I believe, continuously brooded, but you can't really do it in the UK because it's hard to find any bindweed through the winter months, if not nigh on impossible. And they do eat a lot to the larva. The larva grow to quite a size. They, they eat a lot of bindweed. So, there's a chance that there'll be a few more Nottinghamshire records of this moth, probably later this month and into November. It's not unknown for the moth to occur in November, but this has certainly been a convolvulus hawk moth a year in terms of Nottinghamshire and the rest of the UK, really. A lot of people are finally connected with this moth. Hopefully one day I'll be sat in the garden after having a couple of whiskies and one of these will come thudding and hovering around the light and I'll have the wherewithal to net it. But at least through managing to rear these larvae that I purchased earlier in the year I have at least achieved a lifetime's ambition of being able to see this fantastic hawk moth.